It was 2016. I was at Denver Comic Con, now known as Denver Pop Culture Con. I was standing in line to meet John Reese Davis. For those who don't know who he is, he plays Saul in Indiana Jones and also Gimli in Lord of the Rings. Now, it's the middle of summer as well, and I'm in a crowded convention center, so I'm wearing a tank top that's showing off the tattoo on my back. Behind me a further bit, I can hear these two guys going, oh, whoa, Rebel Scum, that looks so cool, oh my gosh. And my curiosity got peaked because I don't know if they're talking about me or another person with Star Wars paraphernalia in the crowd. So I turn around and I see two guys staring directly at me. And one of them just goes, oh, I'm really sorry. I was just checking out your tattoo. We thought it was really cool and we just wanted to tell you that we think it's awesome. And my response was, oh, no problem. Thank you so much. Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you guys think it's awesome. And then the other guy go ahead, goes ahead and says, does your boyfriend call you rebel scum while you guys are doing it in bed? Oh my God, who says that? So I went ahead and I knew it was a trap. I knew he was trying to see if I was single or not. So my response was my husband and I turned around. Unfortunately, this is not uncommon for women in the nerd culture. It's a form of gatekeeping, and gatekeeping is those who determine who can or cannot be a part of the community. In this case, it's the nerd community. It happens in social media, and it happens in real life. And it comes in many forms, but the more common forms that I have seen is that women in a nerdy environment are just there to get a boyfriend, or that we're there to get hit on that women do not belong in the nerd community, so we need to push them out. When we're in a nerdy environment, we have no idea what we're doing or why we're there. And lastly, that we need to prove ourselves. When toxic men try to push us out of the nerd community, it can look really ugly. Take example, Kelly Marie Tran, who plays Rose Tico in the movie Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, a lot of nerd fanboys did not like this movie and did not like her character. But instead of just letting it go, they went ahead and flooded her Instagram account, which is sexual and racist comments, and just plain out bullied her. And it got so much to the point that she had to take down her Instagram account. She brought it back up, but at no point was it necessary for that to even happen. Brie Larson, who plays Captain Marvel in the movie Captain Marvel, had some photos released for a promotional to show off that the movie was coming out and to get people hyped up. For the most part, she just looks really stoic and she's just in clips of her just doing regular day stuff or about ready to kick some butt. <laughs> but a lot of nerdy fanboys did not think that she looked pretty enough. So they went ahead and photoshopped a smile onto her face and claimed that they fixed her. Now, when Men think that women have no idea what they're doing in a nerdy environment. I commonly see this in a comic book store. I've experienced, witnessed, and heard stories of when women go into comic book shops, the clerks go right up to us going, are you shopping for your boyfriend today? Or that they look at us going like, that's a girl there. Does she have any idea where she is? Look at that silly girl being in a comic book shop. I unfortunately witnessed my friend ask a comic book clerk about a tiny little Star Trek communicator model and what this model did. Instead of telling her what this little model did, he decided to mansplain what the communicator's purpose and function was in the show rather than just telling her what this thing does on the shelf. It's really frustrating because I really love Star Wars. I love Star Wars so much. I have so much Star Wars stuff just laying around, but that doesn't mean I remember everything that happens in the movies or the entire extended universe. And the extended universe is just the entire history of Star Wars itself, and it's comprised in many books, you know, comics, other media forms like video games, but I don't have time to get through all of that. But when I say I like Star Wars, I get a bunch of trivia questions thrown at me to prove some sort of test that I need to pass, that I am a true Star Wars nerd fan. Most men do not have to prove that they're a nerd. 
but women have to. <laughs> yeah. Regardless of it being Star Wars or not, you do not have to know everything there is about a certain nerd fandom in order to say that you like it. If you like Marvel, DC, TV shows like Voltron, Pokemon, whatever nerd fandom it is, you can be as casual or as hardcore as you want. So my question to these toxic male nerds is, why? Why do I get pushed out? Why do you feel like I don't know what I'm doing when I'm in a nerdy environment? And I'm just one voice in all of this. I'm just a white, cis, straight female, but there are hundreds of women who have a voice in this as well, and we need to listen to them, especially those with women of color and those in the LGBTQ plus community. And now, there are several ways where you can help out. Number one, support your girls. <laughs> support your girls. Whether it's you're buying from your favorite artist, author, podcaster, whatever creative media outlet is. If you're supporting a business like Ariel Johnson, a black woman who owns a comic book shop, go support the business. Go watch the movies that have women in them. They don't have to be the main role, but Tessa Thompson kills it as Valkyrie in Thor. Yeah. I love her so much. <laughs> and she identifies as liking both male and female. And now, you don't have to buy something in order to show your support to, for someone. Like my friend Melina, she kills it as cosplaying as Wonder Woman every time. I love seeing her being Wonder Woman because she's just happy to be the superhero she identifies with the most. And you can leave a person a compliment online or in real life. Number two, if you see something, please say something. I know on social media it can be hard because it's like talking to a wall that's yelling back at you. But all you have to do is just call them out on their words and tell them that they're being rude and go ahead and report them. But if you see something in real life, please do not be afraid to step in. Now, if you're at a convention and you see some woman being harassed by a guy and no matter what she's doing, he's just not taking the hint, step in. Tell him that he is being rude and that he needs to go away. And find convention staff. They're there to help. Three, find a safe space. Find a place that makes you feel accepted and wanted. If you don't have that, then make your own. Lastly, fight back. Remember how I talked about Brie Larson got photoshopped with a smile on her face? She went ahead and photoshopped her male counterparts with a smile on their face. <laughs> They're glorious. And what they did, her counterparts did not get mad. They did not fight back. They went ahead and supported her and laughed with her because they know that when a guy looks stoic being a superhero, it looks positive. But when a woman does, it's clearly met with negativity. Number, f the last one, keep doing what you love to do. No matter what it is, if you're still being casual nerd or really hardcore, keep doing what you love to do. If you love to you know, read comics, play video games. If you love to cosplay, keep doing it. Because I certainly do. I'm not gonna let anyone stop me. And if you love to role play, keep role playing. My friends and I role play almost every weekend. Almost every weekend. And we love it so much that we created our own role playing system. And I'm creating dice for us to play with. It's so much fun, and it just blows a lot of men's conceptions and their minds that a group of all females created their own role-playing system and are writing a book about it. <laughs> but it's, it's one of those things where it's met with some positive reception, where they are curious and want to know and ask us more questions, and sometimes it's met with negativity. Again, us silly girls don't know what we're doing, but I don't really care. I'm gonna get this book published someday. <laughs> but we are all nerds. We are all passionate about whatever nerd fandom thing it is. So there is no reason to push women 
or anyone else out of the community. We should accept all those who want to be a part of the community and bring positive change to it and just feel accepted. Because I'm a nerd and I'm proud.